Now that we got a taste of a simple sketch and extrude example with our Hello World coaster, I want to cover a couple of important items. And this set of lessons will always be here, so feel free to rewatch them anytime. Okay, so as we saw in the extrude explanation, every time we used the extrude feature, added or removed material, we were basing it on an underlying sketch. So I just really want to drive that home. Almost every time when you want to create a feature, we need to know where we want to place the feature and based on that, determine where the best place is to place the underlying sketch. So you can kind of think of these two as the pillars of creating 3D models. First, creating sketches and second, creating features from sketches. To access sketch tools on the toolbar, you need to be in sketch mode. When you load a workspace, the sketch tools are not visible because you're not in sketch mode. To enter sketch mode, you either have to click the sketch button at the top left or start editing an existing sketch. When you are in sketch mode, you can select sketch tools by clicking on their buttons. After you've clicked on a tool, it is considered active and the button will be shaded showing that it is active. You will also notice that your cursor, when a tool is active, changes into a cross. Otherwise, if no tool is activated, your cursor will be a standard mouse pointer icon. To deactivate a sketch tool, there are a couple things you can do. First, press the escape button on your keyboard. Second, click on the shaded sketch tool button that you have selected to toggle it to off. And third, you can just change to another sketch tool. Features. As for features, there are all sorts of features you can create. Features are visible in the toolbar when you first open a Part Studio workspace and any time that you are not creating a sketch in sketch mode. Creating most features will require sketches, but not all. Chamfer and fillet, which we will cover, are two common exceptions. As in the Hello World coaster example, when creating a feature, we were always asked for a sketch to provide as an input to the feature. I want to mention this here. When selecting the input for features, you can select the sketched feature from the workspace if they're visible or from the left side of the window from this list. This list is called the feature tree. We'll go over many, many examples of this. I just want to mention it so it's on your radar. 